damn minute. What the hell is going on here? S seriously, how did we even get here? And what do you mean by tournament? Oh, come on. I just explained it. Don't tell me you're lost already. Well, I guess I've just got to give you the rundown one more time. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, let the 108th Keystone Scramble Tag Battle Tournament commence! Why is the number changed? Oh, -ho! you've got a keen eye for details. Sounds to me like you're intrigued. Good, good, that's the spirit. Then allow me to explain the rules. Listen to me, damn it! The rules are simple. Just get to the goal with the keystone, the ultimate proof of your heroism, in hand. Keystone? You mean this weird shiny rock? Yes, that's the one. You've been selected as the keystone holder. You're such a lucky boy. I'm not feeling so lucky right now. But as I mentioned before, the keystone is proof that you are a hero. The other contestants will come after that keystone in order to become heroes themselves. Other contestants? That's right. The one to take the keystone to the goal is the true hero. Thus, once you've defeated your numerous challengers, and once you've reached the goal at the far, far end of this tournament's venue, you will be crowned champion and receive a wonderful prize. I don't want any of that. Aw, really? Are you sure? Even if the prize is returning to your original world? Uh, what? Huh? See, I knew you'd want it! So allow me to formally announce that this tournament's champion, and all who hail from the champion's world, will be able to return to their original world! Wait a second! If you can return us to our original world, please just let us go back! There's no need to put us through a tournament! After all I did to set this up, it'd be a real waste. Eh, like I care! Your stupid tournament has nothing to do with us. So shut up and send us home. I'm afraid that's easier said than done. I'm merely a facilitator. If you want to go back to your world, you have to follow this world's rules and win the tournament. Damn. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Should I use the power of the eye? I mean, if there's a way out, I might be able to find it. Or even interfere a little with the structure of this world. If you really think you can, then... Whoops! My hand slipped. Ah! What the... Noelle! Oh, you bastard. What'd you do with her? In order to carry out the tournament in a fair manner, I had that lady temporarily disqualified. If one person can break the rules, it ruins things for everybody. And there are a lot of people in this tournament. Quit screwing around. Bring her back. If you want her back so bad, then you better win. If you can get back to your original world, she'll automatically come back with you. Pretty cool deal, right? Why, you? Okay, then. Take care. Be sure to protect that keystone. Good luck. Bye-bye now. Hold on. Wait. Ah, damn it. One thing after another, not a single proper explanation. It's like I'm talking to the rabbit. It appears the owner of that voice is gone. Whoa! Rabbit? Please refrain from getting so pathetically flustered. It's very unattractive. It's not my fault you just showed up all of a sudden. Oh, then would you rather I take my leave now? I'm happy to warn you first. More importantly, Ragnar, you have it, don't you? It? Oh, you mean this keystone thing the voice mentioned earlier? Yes, that's it. Why are you so excited about this? I excited? Hardly. Don't be absurd. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, give me that keystone. Why? Give it to me now. I said, why? 
Just do it. Hey, Rabbit, you know something, don't you? But what are you talking about? I merely want you to give me the stone so I can begin to investigate this mysterious phenomenon. Then you should have led with that. Well, there, I've told you. Now give it to me. Uh, something's not quite right here. Excuse the interruption. Ah, it's you! Looks to me like you have some challengers. Oh, and how convenient. You've already made yourselves a team of two. But wait, I'm only... And here they are! The thing the white-haired man is holding. That's the keystone. Do not let your guard down, young lady. If they have been brought here, they are not to be taken lightly. Oh, I'm well aware. Ugh, it's just one thing after another. Damn it, somebody tell me what's going on! I've told you exactly what's going on multiple times, in fact. If you want to get back to your original world, then please fight for the Keystone. It seems the wheels are already in motion. Prepare yourself, Ragnar. They look serious. <sighs> Guess we're not going to be able to talk this one out. I'm afraid not. We want to go home just as bad as you do. Now come on. At long last, we have our very first Keystone Scramble Tag Battle! Let the first match begin! Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Fight. Annoying! Come here! are not as easy as I thought. We should retreat for now. I have hardly had my fill, but very well. I shall stay my claws until next time. We managed to beat them, but is this seriously gonna keep happening? It is. Such are the rules of this world. And in accordance with those rules, those who were dragged into this place like we were will continue to challenge us. <sighs> All to obtain that keystone you hold. You seem oddly informed. Yes, it's because I was actually listening to the explanation you were given earlier. It wasn't that difficult to grasp. Well, assuming you have a functioning brain, of course. Why, you? If you're looking for a fight, you've got one. Unfortunately, in this world, all battles must take place in a two-on-two -two tag battle format. So if you want me to play with you... I've got to follow that annoying punk's instructions and take the keystone to the goal, right? Hmm. Ragnar, for now, I'll leave that stone in your hands. Huh? I have some other matters to attend to, so be sure to keep it safe until I come back. You must not let anyone else have it. Understood? Sure. That was my plan anyway. I mean, we can't get back to our world without this, right? That's right. And that's all you need to know right now. I'm trusting you, Ragnar. Don't disappoint me. <sighs> Treating me like some sort of lap dog. She's definitely hiding something. What a weird...
weird place this is. It seems like the scenery changes every few steps. Oh, jeez. She could have at least told me where the goal is. Hey, you plan on following me forever? Ah, you got me. You're pretty sharp, ain't ya? But yeah, sorry. You were having such an interesting conversation that I couldn't help but follow you for a bit. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but what do you want? Could it be... This? Ah, oh, so this is it, huh? You're a lucky one. It'd make things simple if you could just give it to me, but that's not gonna happen, is it? <laughs> This place is interesting, but I don't intend to spend the rest of my life here, you know? Which puts me in a bit of a predicament. I'd rather not have to play rough with people from other worlds. Wait a minute. Other worlds? What, you didn't pick up on that? This place is filled with people from several different worlds. Hell, I doubt you and I are from the same one. Seriously? What makes you so sure? Call it intuition. You've got an unfamiliar sort of power to you. You're clearly not an ordinary human, but you're not an inbirth either. An inbirth? Ugh. Haven't heard the term, huh? Well, in that case, what do you call your powers? Uh, Armagus? The Azure? Drive? <laughs> yep. Seems like it's more than just a difference in vocabulary. Hope I'll get a chance to see those skills in action. Doesn't sound like you're playing dumb. <laughs> now things are getting really complicated. I'll say. But the people from the other worlds aren't what's bothering me. It's that voice. There's something shady about her. I get the feeling that holding a tournament here isn't her main goal. Which means she's up to something. And using the tournament as a front. Yeah. If you know all that, why were you following me? That blonde girl you were talking to earlier seemed way more informed than I am. Given how casually you were talking to her, I figured you might know some stuff too. I just chose the more approachable of the two of you. I see. Well, you chose wrong. Wish I could help, but I don't know anything. And she's... <sighs> Rachel's always like that. She tells people what to do, but doesn't give them the reasons why until the very end. Oh... Are you telling me she can't be trusted? Well... No, she's always got a plan. That's just the way she is. I see. Which means it won't be easy to get her to talk. <laughs> hmm? Something wrong? No, just thought I sensed bloodlust. Bloodlust? Must be your imagine it. Okay, I take that back. Dang it! Our ambush failed! Stay focused. It's not over yet. Who are these girls? Hi, how do you do? I'm Ruby. Oh, and uh, this is Blake. Nice to meet you. Hey, Ruby. That's great and all, but... But introductions are important! You've got to make sure your relationships start out on the right foot. Depends on what kind of relationship you want to have, really. So tell me, what kind of relationship were you looking for when you attacked us out of nowhere? I think they made that clear enough. They weren't playing around with that attack. Nobody would do something like that if they weren't looking for a fight. Whoa! <gasps> hey, Blake, look! Check it out! The guy in the red coat has a really cool weapon! The guy in purple, too! Oh, that's awesome! Hey, hey! This is gonna be great! I can't wait to see what kinds of tricks they do! Anyway, let's tag battle! Two on two, right now! Wait, huh? I just really want to see those weapons in action! Please! You have the keystone, don't you? Give it to us now! Looks like our next challengers are these two lovely girls! And they're going up against two big, grumpy men! Let's see how these physical differences play out! Every eye in the stadium is glued to these contenders. So, let the match begin! Stop shoving us into random matches already! Just let it go. If she cared about our complaints, we'd never have to fight. I'm not exactly on your side, but we can be partners for now. Fine. 
Just don't drag me down, Black Scythe bastard. Not a fan of that nickname. Call me Gordo. I'm Ragna. Let's do this. Escape from crossing fate. Fight! Take Shit. it! Uh, go! Shit! Crush! Go! I'm not done! Crush! Take Shit. it! Go! Let's go! Go! All up to me now. Let's I'm go. going all out! Kill to the charge! Shit. Satisfied now? Oh, that was so cool! <laughs> Your sword can transform in everything! Huh? Did you make it yourself? But no, I, I... This girl's an odd one. Ruby, let's fall back for now. Huh? But I wanted to talk a little more. Hey, you guys! There's something fishy about all this. I don't think things are going to be all lollipops and rainbows once we get this keystone to the goal. What makes you think that? Mostly my gut. But I think I know someone who really does know what's going on. Based on her behavior, I don't think this is a regular old tournament. Hell, it's possible we don't need to compete over the keystone at all. Are you telling us to stop fighting? That's right. I get what you're saying, but without any evidence to back it up, it's hard to believe. Okay, that's fine. We'll let you handle the Keystone stuff then. What? Wow, that saves us a lot of trouble. Though I'm a little worried about just how trusting you are. Hey, Ruby. I mean, isn't it easier for everyone if we don't have to fight over the Keystone? That's true, but... Besides, even if we do risk our lives to get our hands on it, there's still the possibility that it's completely useless, right? And I don't like that one bit. If we're going to fight for something, I want to be sure it's worth fighting for. <sighs> Your name is Ragna, right? Yeah. That thing might be our only ticket back to our original world. Be sure to keep it safe. If someone does take it from you, then we never had this conversation. Got it? Yeah, got it. All right, let's go. Okay, see ya. And they're gone. That girl needs to calm down. I think I'll be on my way, too. It's been a fun little chat, but I can't hang around here forever. Besides, I've got some more investigation to do. And since I don't have the keystone, I don't think I'm going to run into much trouble. If we run into each other again, let's trade some information. Sounds good to me. Just don't get your ass kicked before then. Likewise. Watch your back. The scenery changed again, but it definitely doesn't seem like the goal. Well, with any luck, I'll run into a familiar face and get some more information. Huh? Who's that? Oh, Yukiko! Where'd you go? That girl's from another world. Just how many damn worlds are mixed together here? Uh, she doesn't look like she'll try to attack me, though. Hey, you! Ah, uh, uh, me? Uh, may I ask your name? Who? Me? Uh, look, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not here to fight. I just want to ask you something. Wait, people might try to fight me? Ah, oh, sheesh, this place is scary. Anyway, what is it? You were brought here from somewhere else, right? What do you know about this world? Um, they said if we get our hands on this keystone thing, we can get out of here. But other than that, I've got nothing. I see. You said us. Are there others with you? Well, kind of. 
My friend and I were together a couple of minutes ago, but we got split up. Oh, maybe you saw her. She's got long hair and is wearing a red cardigan. Uh, I don't think so. I didn't see her on my way here, at least. Oh, too bad. So, what do you plan to do if you see someone who's got a keystone? Well, that's the thing. I obviously want to get back to my world, but I don't really want to take someone else's chance away from them. It would be nice if we could all work together to find a way out of this place. Work together, huh? Hey, do you... <laughs> Look out! I finally found you, Dark One. What is that? A persona? Huh? The hell's a persona? This guy's called Hakuman, and he's an asshole who never learned how to listen. Girl, if you do not wish to die, walk away. Why? What are you talking about? This man, the Dark One, must perish at my hand. If this truly is a closed world, then there is nothing to stay my blade. Which makes this the perfect place to eliminate you. What did I just say about not listening? Look, I don't have time to entertain you, and we can't fight one-on-one. -on -one. Oh? What's this I hear about entertainment? I could use some fun. I haven't had any prey in a while, so I was starting to get bored. <laughs> Oh, and I like that face of yours. I can't wait to see it twisted in pain and humiliation. What's with these people? Hey, are they always like this? I don't know about the red one, but the white one sure is. I try to talk him out of this, but there's no point. Okay, if we've got no choice, then I'll help you. But are you stupid? Hurry up and run! Don't call me stupid. You seem like a good guy. I can't just leave you to the wolves. That's what I like to hear. You're just brimming with energy. Makes it all the more fun to crush it out of you. All righty. Now that our players are all lined up, let's begin the tag battle. I have my concerns about fighting alongside this man, but I shall not turn my back now. My sole purpose is to hunt down evil. My sword is the blade of truth. I am the white void. I am the cold steel. I am the just sword. I am Hakuman. The end has come. <laughs> die, die, die! Hey, take it easy. Exciting! A minor setback. But I shall not be swayed. Damn it. We're not gonna last much longer like this. We're gonna need to find a chance to run and. <laughs> no, 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 no! This was a tag battle, so the losers must exit immediately. The hell? Okay, 
Okay. See you all next match. Huh. Maybe she does have her uses. Whew. Everything somehow worked out. Now that those assholes are out of the way, let's get back on track. You should help me out. Huh? Look, I need to destroy this stupid world so I can get back to my own. And not just me. It'd get you and your friends back to your world, too. Is that even possible? I don't know how I'd do it yet, but there's got to be a way. And anything's better than playing along with this damn tournament. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Kicking everyone else down just so me and my friends can go home would leave a bad taste in my mouth. If there's a way we can all get back to our own worlds, like you said, then we should do it. Though to be fair, I have no idea how much help I can be. I still don't know a thing about this world. You said your friend's here too, right? Just tell her that we're working together once you meet up with her. The less people I have to fight, the better. Oh, no problem. I can do that. I'll try to help out in whatever way I can. By the way, my friends are all super strong. You will not regret this. I'm really not expecting much, but I'll see you later. Oh, yet another weird-ass place. Damn, how much farther am I supposed to go? Hmm? Huh? The hell are you? That's my line. Who are you? You got a hearing problem, old man? I asked you first. Or is there some reason you can't answer me? The reason is, I don't know a punk-ass kid like you shit. What was that, asshole? You think you can act tough just because you're older than me? Listen, dumbass. You're gonna want to get out of my way before you get hurt. You're the dumbass here. If you think I'm gonna let you through after dissing me like that, then you're dead wrong. Damn it. Fine. But don't blame me once you start crying. Hmm. I thought I recognized that voice. You're the man from earlier. And you're the old bastard who ambushed me. Is this guy a friend of yours? What, you can't even fight your own battles? Oh no, not at all. We've only briefly met on the battlefield. And though I would enjoy taking part in this battle, I am not as young as I used to be. I'm afraid I must remain a spectator this time around. Oh, because this is a show to you? Young man, your physique speaks to long hours of training. I can feel your desire to strengthen yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's what being a man's all about. <laughs> I remember that youthful drive, that burning desire to work hard and improve oneself. How could I interrupt a sparring match that will forge two young men anew in the fires of ambition? Look, uh, I think you might have misread what's going on here. Uh, yeah, we're not exactly... What? Are you saying that you boys do not desire strength? No, I, I mean... I'm saying I do want to get stronger. You know, it helped me protect my friends. Or the person I like. <laughs> well said. That's my boy. No, not boy. You are a true man. Both of you. What are your names? Huh? I'm Kanji Tatsumi. Ragna the Blood Edge. Hmm. Kanji and Ragna. I have seen into your hearts and now truly understand your desires. I, Waldstein, shall carefully observe and adjudicate the clash of your bodies and souls. Where are you getting this? We're not sparring, we're not training, and we don't need an adjudicator. I don't know. The clash of bodies and souls sounds pretty cool. Testing! Testing! Sorry to intrude. Huh? Hey, I remember you. Son of a... A blazing battle between two men is all fine and dandy. Except that it breaks the cardinal rule of this world. If you want to fight, it's got to be a tag battle. Otherwise, no can do. Hmm, a tag battle, you say? Two on two? Which would mean we would need someone else. <laughs>
Now what? Wait. I recognize that laugh. Wonderful. Wonderful, Grim Reaper. Azrael, I knew it was you. <laughs> you smell that? There's something in the air calling us to fight. This burning aggression. This murderous spark. You feel it too, don't you? That part of you deep within your soul that yearns for battle. Now, unleash it. Let's fight until there's nothing left of us but the marrow. Yeah, that sounds great, but I don't have time for... That part of you deep within your soul that yearns for battle. Well said. Your words ring absolutely true. Oh, come on. Although I have gauged, I am still a fighter at heart. And having heard your words, I cannot sit idly by twiddling my massive thumbs. <laughs> this fire inside me. Is this how it feels to fight like a real man? <laughs> All right. Count me in too. Let's do this. There's no way a man like me would run away from a fight like this. Well, you guys have fun with that. I'll just be go. Come on, bring it. Or are you just going to run away? Excuse me? Who? Oh, did you lose your nerve, lad? True strength is achieved by overcoming your fears. Stand and fight! Don't tell me you're scared, Grim Reaper. You've been fated to a life of battle. And without battle, your life is worthless. Now come, let me give you meaning. Ugh, you guys aren't gonna quit with the pep talks, huh? If you want to get hurt that bad, you got it. Tag battle or not, I'll beat all of you into the ground! Get ready! Get ready. Can't escape from crossing fate! Fight! Try me! Try me! What? Mountain! That's hard! Crush! Try me! Crush! Suck a little! Get up! Better! Let's go! Try me! Try me! Shut up! Some more fun. <laughs> now, this is a battle. Things are starting to get interesting. Are these guys serious? This is never gonna end. Well, this is definitely something. You know what happens to naughty children who can't follow the rules? <laughs> what did you do to them? Don't worry! To make sure the tournament proceeds smoothly, I've transferred them to another location. At the end of the day, you pull all the strings. I don't like it. Oh, have you not had enough? In that case... I'll never let you escape, Grim Reaper! Huh? Hey, don't bring him back here! As requested, the manly match round two! Let's get it on! Ah, uh, how about no? I'm getting out of here!
Noelle, if you can hear me, say something. Ugh, nothing. I don't see the rabbit anywhere either. Guess I better make a beeline for the goal. That should speed things along. Stop, please. You possess the keystone, do you not? Oh boy, what are you? My name is Igus. If you do not stop, holder of the keystone. If I don't stop what? You trying to threaten me? Here's a tip. It works better if you've got a weapon. I will fire upon you. Say that before you shoot at me. I have fired upon you. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Don't look at me like I'm the dumbass. Besides, even with your threats, you can't attack me unless we're set up in a two-on-two -two ma- Hey, voice thing! What happened to the rules? I'm getting shot at over here! Oh, uh, uh-huh. Those were just warning shots, so they don't count as offensive actions. You kidding? They were clearly aimed at me. I'm just lucky I dodged. So I guess we have our first competitor. I guess, was it? Those were warning shots, correct? Correct. Liar! Ugh! Why do I even waste my energy? Listen, I ain't giving you the keystone. Not now, not ever. Not ever? No matter what happens? How unfortunate. There's another one of you? Like I said, it's not gonna happen, no matter how many robot girls you have. If you do not hand it over, I will have to resort to violent measures. You just shot at me! How is that not a violent measure? Hmm. Huh. You are registered as... Batista. Just to confirm, that was a warning shot, right? Hey! Right? Lies, untruths, forgery, discrepancies, nonsense, mistakes. No applicable terms found. Conclusion, there is no reason to scream. Maybe not for you, but there is for me. <sighs> well, either way, this world's got rules. If there are only three of us here, a warning shot's as far as you can go. Ragna! Oh, God. This is the last person I wanted to show up right now. I thought Ragna was news. That new was Ragna's. So, Ragna, why are you with these girls? Um, that's because... I was looking for Rachel, but ran into them instead. Trust me, I'm not here because I want to be. Rachel? Who's that? That's weird, Ragna. You're always looking for new. Looking for me. To destroy me. To break me. To tear me all apart. Right? Right, Ragna? But you're looking for another girl. Playing with other girls. Why? Uh, listen, new. Oh, I know. They're the bad ones. They're trying to take my Ragna. I'll never ever forgive them. Logical error. Subject statements are nonsense. What is clear, however, is a violent attachment toward the man named Ragna. Is this a blurring of the lines between love and hate? Look, it's not like that. You have no idea what you're talking about. Anyone who bullies Ragna is a target. Beginning target elimination. Detecting a massive increase in energy. Hostile behavior confirmed. A peaceful conclusion seems unachievable. Alas. You were shooting at me from the very beginning. Targets determined hostile. Deploying pulse. Combat preparations complete. Now, let's begin. Hey, 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 hold on. We don't have to. It seems all the pieces are in position. We have a fight on our hands. The flames of jealousy swirl around the three young ladies, all vying for a piece of Ragna the Blood Edge. Let the battle for his love begin. Are you kidding me? Get 
ready. Get ready. Can't escape from crossing fate. Fight! Counter! Yeah. Heavy damage! Yeah. Your strong yeah. damage! Yeah. Counter! Let's go! Maximum yeah. speed! Yeah. Heavy damage! Yeah. Guarding! Yeah. No problem! Crush! Heavy yeah. damage! Reorganizing! Nice try! Counter! Yeah. Heavy damage! Yeah. You're yeah. the moon now! I'm safe, thanks! Heavy Shoot. damage! Decision counter! Yeah. Looks like I lost him. <gasps> Ragna! What? Noelle? Thank goodness I finally found you. I haven't seen anyone since I was transported away. It was really lonely. Didn't see anyone, huh? Then you're not hurt? Oh, yeah, I'm totally fine. Um, what about you? Ah, uh, I'm alright. Been challenged a few times, but I've still got the keystone. I see. Good to hear it. By the way, have you managed to figure out anything about this world? No. I think Rachel might know something, though. I'd ask her for details, if I had any idea where she was. Oh, too bad. I haven't found much information either, but... I did feel something while I was walking around this place. Power of the eye tell you anything? I'm sorry, it's something, but I don't really understand it. It's just... It's okay. Right now, I need whatever information I can get. Just, uh, tell me what you're feeling. Okay. I feel like this world isn't really a world at all. It's more like a closed space. And some sort of observer is just barely keeping it together. It's a small and unstable place. That's why there's so little consistency from place to place. So there's an observer, huh? Yes, but I don't think it's a human. It's more... machine-like. Interesting. Tell me more. You! You're the first ones I fought! Calm down, we don't intend to fight you. Then what do you want? Just chill already, all we want to do is talk. Talk? Yeah, about this world. The Keystone, stuff like that. So at the end of the day, you're just another punk after this rock. Hey, I said that we're not here to fight, all right? How many times do I have to tell you? Whatever, I'll just cut to the chase. To be honest, we have a keystone too. What? What are you trying to pull here? Believe me now? Wow, he wasn't kidding. But it's a different color than ours. That's right. If what that voice told me is true, we've got to get all the other keystones in order to get back to our original worlds. Get the keystones, not protect them. You said other keystones. So does that mean we're not the only ones who have them? Yeah. In addition to the two we have here, there are two others, for a total of four. Guess we're supposed to fight over those. But that's everything we know. We still have no idea how this world is constructed, or what that voice's motives are. So we want whatever clues we can get. Now. We've told you what we know. Mind returning the favor? Ragna, what should we do? We really don't know much. Hell, we hardly even have a plan right now. That's fine by us. Whatever you can tell us would be appreciated. The more information we have, the better decisions we can make. All right, then. Thank you. Then let's get to it. In your conversation earlier, it sounded like you were discussing the existence of some sort of supervisor. But wait, were you eavesdropping? What's your problem? I may have accidentally overheard you. Anyway, is that true? Tell me, young lady. It's true. To elaborate, it seems as though the supervisor isn't looking over a pre-existing world, but one they created and have full control over. A world created from scratch? Then what? 
Is this supervisor some sort of god? I see. No wonder things seem so disturbingly artificial. Interesting. What is it, Lene? Have you figured something out? Yeah. This supervisor is likely holding the world together. Which would mean that there's an easy way out of here. Huh. So, you're saying if we beat this punk down, this place will just disappear? Seriously? Uh, what do you think, Noel? I think she's got the right idea. But even if we destroy this world, there's no guarantee that we'll go back to our original ones. Either way, it seems certain that we need to make contact with this supervisor. Right? It's not like we have any other leads. We should hurry up and find the bastard. Hey, uh, hate to interrupt, but an acquaintance of ours probably knows something about this supervisor. Or, should I say, observer. What? Are you serious? That's awesome! We'll be out of here in no time! Well, that's a godsend. So where is this acquaintance of yours? How soon can we meet them? That's the problem. I've got no idea. We're looking for her right now. And what if we can't find her? I don't know. Uh, maybe we try to interrogate that one girl? Did I hear someone call for me? I think I did. Ugh. If I so much as hear my name on the wind, I will run to the ends of the earth to meet my summoner. Well, 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 what is this? All the contestants we need for a two versus two tag battle? All in one place? Well, wait, no, we didn't want to fight! Where there is tag, there is battle. And where there is battle, there is tag. Ragna the Blood Edge and Noel Vermilion versus Hyde and Lene. Wait! Damn it! Stop! It's no use, Hyde. Trying to reason with her now will get us nowhere. Yeah, doesn't look like we've got a choice. But if we've got a fight, I'm going all out! Bring it! I wanted to see what you guys were capable of anyway. We won't go easy on you, either. Tag battle start! Get, Get ready. ready! Can't escape from crossing fate! Fight! Battle, you guys! Incredible work from both teams. There. The match is over. Now buzz off. Ah, I get it. You want to make your preparations for the next battle. I respect that. Well then, folks, I'll see you all at the next tag battle match. Ta-ta for now. Uh, is she gone? I think so. Uh, ow. Every damn time. Gotta admit, though, you guys are pretty good. Damn, we're running out of time. What you told us earlier, is that everything you know? Yeah, that's about it. Uh, do you guys have anything? Sorry, but we don't have any information outside of what we told you. I wish we had more to share. No, wait. Tell us about that acquaintance of yours. You know, the one who might know something? We might not have any more information, but... We could help you search for her, at least. I guess so. Yeah, thanks. We could use some help. Well, that's more honesty than I expected out of you. I thought you'd tell us, I don't need your help, or something. Shut up, Half-Stack. Or do you want to pick up from where we left off? Well, uh, Half-Stack? 
So I praise you for your honesty and then you snap at me? Very well. Get ready for a hefty hospital bill. Wait, Lene! Didn't we just agree to cooperate? R Ragna, please calm down! <laughs> anyway... This acquaintance of yours, what does she look like? Well, she's short, has blonde hair, and wears a cute black dress. If she's wearing ribbons that look like bunny ears and talks down to you, you know you've got the right lady. Her name is Rachel. Short, black dress, named Rachel. Got it. We'll start looking. Time is of the essence. Let's get going. Hold up, Lene! <sighs> well, guess it's goodbye for now. Take care, you two. <laughs> you don't need to worry about us. Now get moving. Okay, later. Uh, be careful! Now what do we do? We need to find Rachel. Should we split up to look for her? Yeah. If we run into anyone while we're together, that voice will swoop in and push us into a battle. Now, if you find Rachel, tell her to come see me right away. I don't know what she's hiding or what she intends to do. But I think she's going to need this stone to do it. Understood. Leave it to me. Yeah, I'm counting on you. I'll search for Rachel and make my way to the goal. Please, stop right there. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? You are... Ragna the Blood Edge, aren't you? That's never a good question. Then it's true. You are the man who holds the Keystone, and responsible for the slaughter of countless innocents. Don't try to deny it. It's all written down on this wanted poster. What? <laughs> Wait, that's... Aw, oh, seriously? That stupid poster followed me to this world too? The keystone you possess will decide the fates of the many people trapped in this world. I cannot leave it in the hands of someone as despicable as you. Please give it to me. If you hand it over peacefully, I can guarantee your safety. If not, well... This again? Give me a break. Sorry, but I can't just hand this thing over to some random stranger on the street. I see. That's too bad. Huh? Damn it, the keystone! I'm sorry, I just barely missed. Nothing to worry about, as long as the keystone is out of his hands. <laughs> Had a friend with you, huh? I wouldn't necessarily say friends. We're comrades, for now. United by a shared goal. A shared goal? What, more than just getting the hell out of here? Well, getting back home is part of it, of course. While we both wish to return to our respective worlds, we're not the only ones trapped here. I believe that we need to find a way to free everyone from this world. Besides, that voice is awfully suspicious. I really don't understand why it would put us through this whole tournament. I can't shake the feeling there's something going on behind the scenes. It's definitely up to something, I agree. But in that case, doesn't it make even less sense for us all to be fighting amongst ourselves? Oh? I'd say that's another matter entirely. While I can't vouch for the credibility of the wanted poster, leaving the keystone to such an evil-looking man is too great a risk. You're really judging me by the way I look? I'll keep him occupied. You grab the keystone. By keystone, do you mean this? <gasps> you. Hazama! Oh, now don't give me that look. I come in peace. This time. There I was, all lonely and alone. And who do I overhear but an old pal from my world? What poor timing. To believe a friend of his would simply turn up like this. We are not friends. Stop screwing around. No need to be shy. Come on, tell him how close we are. There's not a single speck of friendship between us, you son of a bitch. More importantly, Raggy, that was quite a tongue lashing you were getting back there. Despicable, evil-looking, sister complex. You made that last one up. And you, young lady, said earlier that you were going to free everyone from this world. Is that right? That's right. Do you have a problem with that? Not at all. 
In fact, I think it's a wonderful idea. Saving people you don't even know. Well, I could never see myself doing that, ever. So tell me, do you have a plan of some sort? Well, um, we'll collect the keystone and... Hmm? What was that? Don't tell me you were trying to wrench the keystone from someone else's hands, insulting them all the while, without a plan of your own. What are you... Now, oh, Raggy. <laughs> After all this, how could I not partner up with my old buddy from back home? The hell are you up to? I told you earlier, didn't I? I'm tied up in all of this, too. And, like you, I'm hoping to solve the mysteries of the keystone and get out of this world. Now, contrary to all appearances, I am a busy man. So, in return for my help, let's see. Why don't you tell me everything you know? <sighs> I don't trust you. Oh dear, how cold. What'd you think I was gonna say? That's a real shame. But you really intend on fighting these girls all on your lonesome? talking yet? Oh, don't worry. Raggy and I are ready to entertain you. Hold on. I never said we were going to be partners. The tag battle train is leaving the station! Ish. You again? This time, we've got two pure and lovely maidens versus two sketchy men who reek of dark back alley. I refuse to leave the Keystone in the hands of miscreants like you. Oh, I wouldn't dare harm anyone who believes they fight on the side of justice. You might seem harmless on the surface, but I know what you really are. You can't disguise yourself from me. Hey, Raggy. These girls really aren't playing around. Oh, and just a reminder, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Keep that in mind if you're thinking about tagging me in. Shut up, damn it! Being teamed up with you is already hell! Let's see those fists a flying! Ready? Fight! Get, Get ready. ready! Can't escape from crossing fate! Fight! As the dust settles, Ragna and Hazama stand victorious. They're so strong. No wonder they've managed to endure so many battles so far. Wow. Who would have thought I'd ever get to fight with you, Ragna? Fate really does love to play little tricks on us, doesn't it? Damn it. If it weren't for these stupid rules, I'd kill you right here and now. Uh, I will not leave the keystone to such brutes. Still saying that, huh? Look, I've had it up to here with the voice's rules. If you settle down, I'll explain everything. Ooh, I'm afraid that's not enough. We're out of time. This is a supervised closed world. The rules are everything. Am I right? Right as rain. And here's a rule for you. The losers must exit the stage. She has us dancing in the palm of her hand. Did you say something? <sighs> Nothing. Now give me my damn keystone back. Sheesh. No need to be so aggressive. Look, if I hold on to this keystone, it'll get you out of this world too. So hurry up and get lost. Yes, yes. But do be careful. The atmosphere here feels different somehow. 
The goal must be ahead. But she's not here either. Guess I better keep looking. You have arrived. Wait. S? I have been waiting for you. For me? Don't tell me you're after this thing too. Correct. The keystones are the heart of this world. The Phantom Field. I have been tasked with collecting them. Phantom Field? You... What do you know about this place? This place is an ephemeral world. A momentary dream. Born from a consciousness wishing for a world of its own. And the linchpins of that dream are the crystals. One of which you hold. So this... The crystals can connect worlds. Each chose an individual world and brought their respective players here. However, this is where the dream ends. Ragna the Blood Edge, please hand over your keystone. If I give this to you, what will you do with it? Are you telling me you're going to take everyone back to their original worlds? It is not my place to end this dream. The only one who can do that is her. I merely wish to fulfill my mission, to complete my contract. Contract? Yes, contract. I shall collect all of the keystones. Then, my wish will be granted. The thing I've dreamed of will be mine. Huh? Enough talk. It is time to complete my mission. You want to fight, huh? Well, too bad. We're the only ones here. In this world, a one-on-one -on -one won't cut it. Do not worry. <sighs> what the hell is that? There's one. If I create another shadow, the conditions will be met. Come on, this is just bizarre. One shadow is enough. Hmm? If you have the resolve to use that blade, then mine will be there to meet it. Jin? Brother, I knew you had to be here. I wanted to see you so badly, brother. Jin, I don't have time for your bullshit right now. Oh, I'm aware, brother. I know exactly what's going on here. We have an obstacle to eliminate first. Jin Kisaragi, a wielder of the power of order. Huh. Spare me the small talk. Let's get started. I'm looking for information, and you're gonna give it to me. Nice try. You had no chance against us in the first place. No one could ever sever the bond between me and my brother. <sighs> I mean, you're not wrong, but let's not get too weird in front of the girl here, Jin. This is truly unfortunate. I sincerely hoped. You look really disappointed in yourself. I could not fulfill the contract. My power was insufficient. I don't care about your contract. Tell me why you want the keystones. The one who seeks the crystals is Rachel Alucard. She is collecting the keystones. That is the only way to escape this world. So you're telling me that Rachel knows how to get home? 
Knowing Rachel, it's probably some method only she can use. Correct. That is why Rachel Alucard... <sighs> no. The Keystone. Whoa, what? Why is it lit up like that? I sense a power akin to the Azure emanating from within the crystal. The Azure? Could it be? The compressed energy is expanding, trying to free itself from the crystal. And as it grows, it's beginning to become unstable. Unstable? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tremors? It couldn't be. This is supposed to be its own isolated space, which means... This world itself is shaking. Brother, let's go at once. I'll destroy it with Yukianasa. Right! No, wait! Are you sure it's okay to cut it? It's too late. now. We had no clue how to solve this up until now. You should be happy that we're getting somewhere. I didn't completely follow what she was saying, but it seems like all of our worlds are in danger. Yeah, all we can do is fight. Now I understand what we have to do. Yeah, if we beat this thing up, it's a happy ending for everybody, right? Let's do this, Ragna. Yeah, you're right. There's no point in worrying over what comes next. All we gotta do is crush you. We'll never let you take advantage of us again! You, what's your name? You, you Narakami. Thanks for taking care of my friend. It just kinda happened. Actually, you could say I got her involved. Lend me a hand. Let's kick this thing's ass! You bet. You can count on me. Ready. Can't 
escape from crossing fate. Fight! Deploying units. Go! Counter! Deal! Let's go! Counter! Damage! Negligible! Sky, it's clearing up. Ah, we did it! Total victory! Hmm, you never know. Sometimes things like these aren't so easy to kill. Yeah, they do the, this isn't even my final form thing, right? So cliche. Don't even joke about that, Hanamura. <laughs> I think I've had enough fighting for one day. So, what's the story, Rabbit? It seems that all of the converging energy has disappeared without a trace. Meaning, this might have actually worked. For real? Then we did it! So what happens now? It will begin soon. What? What's going on? Well, now that the thread holding this world together has been destroyed, the phantom field has begun to collapse. That... Doesn't sound good. Rest assured, the energy accumulated in the keystones has already been depleted. If we just leave things be, we will be able to go back to our original worlds. Wait a minute, what about the people who aren't gathered here? Right, we're not the only ones in this world. Not to worry, everything will return to how it should be. Now, the world shall be released. What the hell happened? Whew. Am I... Neri Karuga? That's correct. Then that means... We're back. Did all the others make it back home too? I am certain of it. Ugh. I feel like it's all been one long nightmare. Hmm. Then you must have taken quite a nap. I'll say. But you've no more time to lay about. <clears throat> it's time for you to go. You have things to do, don't you? Yeah. Time to get going. <laughs> <laughs> 